All right, what is up, party people? Um, today I'm going to talk about. Well, I, I get this question a lot, mostly in the indexy side of things, where I cover like, or well, where we help people build backlinks. This is a super common question. Super, super common question. And uh, it's whether or not, let's say, you have I have a German website, and I build English backlinks. Is it helpful? Yes or no? And my answer is always it depends. And we're going to talk about that it depends today because my team always gets these questions, and I've 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 given them a canned response, but I'd like them to send a video describing exactly which situation it works. And today that that video is this one. So um, if you're watching this from the future, if my team has linked you this video you know subscribe and maybe comment english uh maybe comment backlinks because it helps push it on youtube it helps a lot um but yeah let me uh report my numbers plus eat some creatine uh if you guys are new here I'm, i apologize for that and also you're probably wondering why jackie's in the dark right now it's because uh i don't want to i don't want to wake up janice so th there it is all right <clears throat> and uh excuse the mess in the back I wasn't able to whip out my camera setup. It's, it's right here, by the way. This is what it looks like, typically. I can show you guys. Here's my phone. Yeah, so here's what it looks like, typically. I just, like, stick it on like this. And then, yeah, this is what it looks like. It's a lightweight setup. You know, I'm, I'm not out here trying to be some high-quality... SEO guy You guys have Matt Diggity and authority hackers for that. They're they're able to turn out such high quality high grade Content your, bo your boys just trying out out here trying to be relatable. All right, here we go All right, let's go So I actually have to rush through the video today because I'm trying to go to the gym. Um, but yeah, let's let's talk. All right. So yesterday we only did 2.6k in total revenue. Um, that's a drop of 2,800 from the two days before. Amazon at 1,300, Mediavine at 160, and OnlyFans at 1,190. As you'll notice, OnlyFans had a huge drop. We're looking into the reason now, but we'll keep you posted. All right, we'll keep you posted. All right, let's talk about today's episode. Um, I wrote up some quick notes about it, and this is uh, well tested. Um, your boy has several foreign sites still ranking to this day. Um, long story short, I've tested them all. So I've had Vietnamese sites, I've had Japanese sites, I've had Korean sites, I have Taiwanese, uh, Chinese sites. They're all ranking as of right now. Are they making a lot of money? No, but that's relative to my income. It's probably making a lot of money to, to you guys because it's still a couple grand a month, right? So is that a lot? You tell me. Um, anyways, I've tested local links versus, um, so like Japanese on Japanese backlinks for Japanese sites versus English backlinks for Vietnamese sites versus, uh, Korean anchors on English sites onto Korean, uh, my own site, if that makes sense. And, uh, I've tested a blend of homepage backlinks on English sites to Chinese, to my Chinese sites and, um, Chinese anchors on Chinese sites to my Chinese site. Um, and what I saw was the, this pretty much, I summed it up for you guys. All right. Um, it's a super long-winded way of saying, trust me, bro. Uh, also, I don't really gain anything if I lie to you here. Just trust me. All right. Anyways, the question we want to get answered today is because we get this a lot, this question so often. Is English backlinks good for my foreign site? For example, for my German site. In short, it is. But what you want to watch out for is you want to make it look natural, like actually natural. 
So what does that mean? Meaning, let's just say in this example today, indexy.com is a German site. And Forbes or TechCrunch or heck, even Authority Hacker wants to link to Indexy. But it's German. But it's okay because maybe I'm doing a podcast tour right now. Like I'm going on everyone's podcast. Do you think if Gail from Authority Hacker links to Indexy using the anchor Indexy, it's going to have a negative impact on my site? No, right? It's natural. It makes sense. And I've tested this. This is great. And I think most people would agree to this. So long story short, English sites to foreign sites, English backlinks to foreign sites help. Test it. The only time that there's any discrepancy is if English sites link, uh, is if a German site linking to an, uh, a German site is stronger than an English site linking to a German site. We've tested that. Yes, it is stronger. However, what we also tested was, does the money make sense? So let's say I use Swedish in this example because we've been looking at Swedish prices for backlinks lately and they're fucking high. I'm not allowed to swear, but anyways, it doesn't matter. Does it make sense? So for the price of, let's say, five English backlinks, I'm able to get one Swedish backlink. That's the actual price. I know that for sure because I've been looking recently. Would I rather have five English backlinks or one Swedish backlink? In the case, let's say I'm, I'm hitting up homepage, hitting up the homepage right now. I'd rather have five English backlinks. Um, is this tested properly? I'm going to say no. But in the example of my was it four or five foreign sites, I've tested it. Um, but it's not like a zero variable test. So it's not a proper test. So I don't want to really mention it. But uh, how I feel is I'd, I'd want to go for five English backlinks. Uh, but before you go out and build hella English backlinks onto your foreign sites. A couple things you want to watch out for. Typically, just do homepage branded backlinks. That's honestly, that's even if it's an English backlink on an English site, I'd, I'd offer that because I'm, I've been clapped too many times. I, I, I'm like super conservative now. All right. So that's why, um, yeah, I do not use keyword anchors on like foreign keyword anchors on an English site. Not only be, is it because they are hesitant to link using those anchors, but also it's super unnatural to Google's eyes. Um, I've tested this one, so I can say this with certainty. You can link to subdirectories, for example, indexy.com slash Chinese slash SEO. In this example, I'm assuming this is a Chinese subdirectory, but I'm not allowed to link to it using like, I don't freaking know, like in Chinese characters from an English site, if that makes sense. And, uh, last but not least, I already mentioned this, but Price is king. I believe in volume in, in terms of homepage backlinks. You can go heavy on that. I, tr I know this for a fact. Only time volume doesn't work is when it's like high risk. So when it's like PBNs. But even then, I've seen you guys. The way you guys build backlinks is so aggressive. You guys need to get checked like by Google. Um, but yeah. All right. That's the episode today. I hope you guys like this one. It's a pure value play. If you guys like it, remember, comment backlinks. I'm not going to say for, for what reason because I'm going to get demonetized. But yeah, all right, that's it. I'm going to answer some questions for the day before. All right, first off, I want to call out. I already tweeted this out. It says, uh, thanks for doing this, Jackie. Got my first 10K a month recently. Thanks again. I love to see stuff like this. 
I was trying to figure out how much I do, like try to quantify it. And I think roughly me making 10K a month versus a viewer who well, says that they made 10K a month thanks to me. I'd probably pick the viewer, dude. Guys, at this point, I'm trying to wind down, right? By the end of the, the, end of the year. Honestly, I think I, I get more satisfaction from this. Welcome to the UK. Thank you. I'm leaving tomorrow, unfortunately. Can't wait for the results. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm going to test PBN services on Fiverr, Legit, or BHW. I remember Hatred made the top, top of your list. Actually, how I found, found you. Oh, nice. Quick question. I'm building a website for a friend who has a roofing company in Germany. Brand new website, Google My Business. Plan is to create a blog for organic traffic. Da, da, da. I want to start with 100 social media profiles with NAP included. And I'm powering those up with Kevin's review. I'm powering those up with GSA. Do you have any what other suggestions? I can DM you da, 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 if you're interested in taking a look. I mean, I don't mind taking a look, but I also don't do free consultations. No offense. No offense. All right. Chris Yao says, yeah, and yo, man, most of these providers don't tell you where to post. They send a snippet and a small image of each link. Who knows if it's real or not? Only way is if you build five sites, they're all the same kind of content, being equal, boost with PBN, see if it moves the needle. I think, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But I'm going to do an export on Google Search Console. So that's how I'm going to find it. Before I do results, thank you. What's your opinion on buying, boosting DRDA services? Yeah, I don't, I don't recommend that. Um... But yeah, that's all the time I have for today, guys. I'm going to hit up the gym. I hope you guys have a great rest of your today's Saturday. Have a great rest of your Saturday. And uh, I'll catch you guys. Fortunately, I'm not catching you guys tomorrow. I'm flying back to Canada tomorrow. So tomorrow's a travel day. I'm really sorry. Uh, I will say I feel weird for not working this last couple of days. But uh, yeah, we're, we're here for a bit, uh, Yeah, checking out some venues. So catch you guys on Monday then. Um... See you guys. Take it easy.